Hello there, and welcome back to Chess Tech. Today we're going to do a 10 minute rapid game with some commentary. Um, what have we got here? So, let's go for 1d4, Trampalski. Let's do, is it a Levitsky attack? Well, we're going to play bishop g5 no matter what. Okay. So he's gone for knight c6. Okay. Um, that's interesting. Um, I'm going to go for e3. And I'm going to go for. Interesting. What am I going to transpose into here? I could just play knight f3 and he'll pin me. And he's blocked his c5. So I'm actually, I'm just going to play. Anyway, okay. Um, let's go for a sort of Tory setup. Let's see if he'll chop my knight off straight away. That'd be nice. Okay. Very safe and solid development here. Both sides. Nothing very exciting going on. Pretty lame, you could say. We've got the London system esque triangle here. We've ended up with a that sort of setup almost with the bishop back on f4. Um, what's the name of the defence for the uh, um, um, why they play knight c6? It's really annoying me actually. There's a reverse version of it, it's white. Um, Goodness me, what is it called? What is it called? No. Um, it'll come back to me in a minute. Really bugging me, that is. So, if I get disconnected, which I'm constantly getting disconnected at the moment, it's got a good minute on me already, this guy. I'm just going to pop that in there, actually. I'll recapture with the bishop, but if he doesn't, develop his bishop, then I'll pop my other knight onto f3. They've got quite nice squares to my knights. I'm trying to think of the name of that black opening where you play the bishop pin on the, on the knight early on, bishop g4. It really escapes me. So, okay. Oh, dear me. It's d4, d5. Knight f3, then it's knight c6. And what is that opening called? Chigorin. Chigorin. That's it. Sorry. Chigorin. So he's moved his bishop twice in the opening. He's violated opening principles by moving the same piece twice early on. Well, I've done the same, I suppose you could say. My nine. But he has committed a heinous crime. Now, he's obviously not going to be casting in queenside. Because uh, he just moved his rook, so I said you better get on with castle. He's got a whole minute on me, which is uh, a bit annoying. Um, normally, I'm pretty good on time. So, what are my options here? I don't know why he's taking so long to castle. Let's have a look at his profile. Pretty hasn't played. Out, probably more, more than me. Um, what am I going to do here? What am I going to do? Think about chopping my bishop. I'm thinking about taking this this uh, knight actually and just. But it's a bit of a problem. I take the knight, pawn takes, and then. Got pressure on this pawn. I don't really like that. I really want to get rid of this bishop. Um, he's threatening. It's a bit. It's a little bit of an annoying piece. So if I drop it back in there, just moves it back. It's still annoying. I've got to be a little bit careful here, actually, because the queen hasn't got a tremendous amount of squares. Although I could take. Hmm. Interesting. 
go. I'm just going to draw that back, actually. And just exchange this bishop. Well, because this bishop's actually very strong. It's covering a lot of central white squares. And um, I actually want to take this knight and give him a double pawn. A target. Well, he's not going to allow me that. So, let's go in here. And I could take with a pawn here. Kicks his knight off. Sort of give me a little mini attack. This is the critical moment. So, I'm going to do that. His knight has to go back there. Now my problem is now, is that I have to make this work. So, I need to get my queen around these squares here, basically. Hmm, interesting, interesting. It's going to be a very strong knight there. Threatens to take this pawn. It's not really. It's a. It's a. Yeah, it lets me bring my rook to this file. It's a slightly lame threat, really. I mean, this sort of stuff is probably because I get a bit bored with the positions of it, and I just want to open them up. So I want to. What do I want to do here? I think I need to open this up a bit. Hmm. He's not allowing that, is he? It's okay. I don't really want to block. It's not ideal, so let's just move that back. It's got a lot of time on me. Hmm. So, I take the fawn, try and get my rook here, and then attack this fawn. That's a really crude plan. He'll probably exchange in the meantime. I don't really want to exchange at the moment, so my plan is rook here, queen here. I need to get rook f6 in. He might stop that, he has stopped that. I might have to sacrifice the knight because I'm not sure actually. Um, Rook s6, knight takes rook, rook takes rook. The problem is a wretched check down there. My queen's got nowhere to go because this bishop's on an annoying square. Hmm. Although, rook f6, knight takes rook, rook takes knight. Rook check, king f2. King's on f2. You check me again, king in here. I need to get my queen here. It's a bit ambitious, really, this. It's really just the fact that my... I don't want to open this up. I've, I've got a check here. I'm just going to bluff him. I'm just bluffing. No threat there. Absolutely no threat. I'm getting a bit short on time. So he just moves his king. So that will be take that will be Queen there takes, that'll be four king. That'll be two rooks a queen and a knight mm. again it's a bit of a bluff oh he's gone for it it's just really a bluff I'm presuming he calculated that he would lose his queen I'm going to have to take some checks down here and lose some pawns but my plan is that after my king's probably got to f3 I'll probably be okay I'm presuming this is winning for me possibly 
just got to get my Dark Square Bishop in action. Oh, he's resigned. Oh, that's nice. So let's just check that through. Analysis board. I think I have better position than I probably I'm probably bluffing actually. I don't know whether my bluffing so it thinks were I'm better here. It doesn't hate my queen move. Um Rook D four. What's we play Rook D four? Doesn't mind my F three computer. Does not like that move at all. I think that's very weakening move, that uh, bit aggressive. What did it where did it see it want me to play bishop g3? I should have given my king a little luft space. Goes back. Um and he takes, didn't like computer doesn't like that. It likes my rook take. He wants me to play, yeah, so that's correct. Knight d7. That's the best move for him. H4 wants me to play. I was worried about that because I thought it's a bit double-edged, really. So H4. Why can't he take that? Rook F6. And then I was thinking, he doesn't have to capture it straight away. He can just do that. And I Rook takes F7. Check. Yeah, it costs the yeah, losing his queen. So it doesn't work. Yeah. Okay. So anyway. He played knight d7, I played queen h5, which he didn't like. Hmm. Thinks that's better for black straight away, so he should have played here. f5, but he didn't. And that, amazing, that move just lost, that king move just completely losing. Completely losing. Amazing. One move, obviously, plays that. I still think it's a bit unclear, practically, to play. I think... But that would have been better for him. So... He plays this G7 move. And then I play this. And then Knight takes F6. And it's over. Yeah, I mean... Um, he's got to take. And of course... Okay, well, so we won a game, a rapid game, a rapid rating over 2,000, that's good, and um, let me know what you think, any comments or questions, please leave them on YouTube, thank you.